Did you know that uh, most of the self-proclaimed dApps, decentralized applications, on the internet are actually not 100% decentralized? While the smart contracts are decentralized as they're on the blockchain, the front-end code, which is the UI code, user interface code, that interacts with the smart contracts are often not decentralized at all because they're deployed to centralized servers such as AWS, Google Cloud, Azure, etc. Hi, I'm KP and today on Eat the Blocks, we're going to learn about how we can deploy our front-end code to a decentralized file storage service like IPFS, short for Interplanetary File System. Oftentimes, even if the smart contract is deployed on the blockchain, you likely won't be storing huge files and large data sets on the blockchain because it is rather expensive to do so. For example, if you're building an NFT project, you will not be storing the actual image on the blockchain, but rather only a hash that points to some external system. So one such decentralized storage solution you can utilize is IPFS, short for Interplanetary File System where um, your files are sufficiently decentralized. And as long as there's at least one IPFS node that has your file, your file will live forever. So what you'll likely be doing is storing the large data slash file on IPFS, then storing the hash of that IPFS data on the blockchain. And then your front end code will then point to retrieving the actual data using the IPFS link. This is a very common practice. So you should likely look into using IPFS if it makes sense to do so. Apart from using IPFS uh, to store large data, you can also store your actual DAP that consists of the front-end code to IPFS. Typically, you host the front-end app on centralized service platforms like AWS, Google Cloud, Azure, etc. So without further ado, let's see how we can do this. There are many online platforms that let you deploy your files to IPFS, but for this video, we're going to be using Fleek because of its simplicity and the fact that you can deploy your front-end code to IPFS in a matter of minutes. So let's first create our React app by doing npx create uh, dash react dash app, and then I'm gonna name it deploy front-end to IPFS, and then do npm start to see what our React application does. It's a very uh, standard React, React application. It doesn't really do anything other than a simple page. Uh, so you can go to localhost, uh, uh, colon 3000 in your browser to check it out. Next, we'll need to cover, or sorry, next we'll need to update our package.json file by adding in the field homepage. So you need to put a dot uh, for the field homepage, which will make it so that the page will also work on IPFS gateways whose, uh, whose URLs are in the format uh, slash IPFS slash hash. That's it. You can make any changes you want to the code um, if you want. But for this example, we're just going to use the starter React app. Now, let's go to fleek.co and sign up for an account. I am going to sign in um, instead of signing up because I already have an account with them. And so after signing in, what you need to do is click on add new site, connect to GitHub repository if you haven't, and then input additional information um, there, like the repo branch, repository branch that you plan to use, uh, the build commands, and the build directory. For the framework, we're going to use create, Re create React app. And for the Docker image, I'm going to use node 16.18 um, version. And so to do that is node colon 16.18. But if you want to use a different version of node, you totally can. Um, just go over to registry.hub. Um, uh, registry dot, um, what is it? Yeah, registry dot hub dot docker dot com slash node to see the different Docker images that are available to be used. Then click deploy site. Now the deployment will take a few minutes and after it's done, you'll see that it was successful. Um, if you go to the top of the page, cause it should say, uh, with a green mark that says verify on IPFS and also, um, it'll have a link for you to open up where your app is hosted. So what Fleek does is deploys your site to the URL that ends with .fleek.co, but that is really pointing to the IPFS hash. You can check out this hash, IPFS hash, of your front end code that you just deployed by going to overview tab. If you encounter any errors during deployment or just anything else related to Fleek, be sure to check out the awesome video that talks about how to troubleshoot uh, deployment on Fleek um, in the link provided down below. 
Now, you may be wondering how you, how you would open up your app using the IPFS hash on the browser. For that, you will need to use one of the gateways available, such as IPFS.io, that is by Protocol Labs, or Cloudflare-IPFS.com, or even Infura. They all have their public uh, um, IPFS gateways that you can utilize. The reason that you want to use a gateway to view your IPFS deployment, like your app, is because not all the browsers provide native support of IPFS yet, so gateways provide workarounds for applications. So what IPFS gateways do is they expose files living in the IPFS um, via HTTP, so anyone can open it from any browser. You may be wondering why you, you why we used a platform like Fleek for our app deployment to IPFS. Well, why didn't we just run our own IPFS node and then deploy it ourselves? Well, it, you could do that, but there are some hurdles there. Um, like if you want to uh, if you want to go that route, for one, IPFS accesses the files via a peer-to-peer -peer network, um, which means that if you put your app onto your own IPFS node, I'm not using Fleek, um, and then shut your IPFS node down, no one can access your app via a public gateway, like Infura or IPFS.io or something else, because the gateway looks for your file hash in the peer-to-peer -peer network. And the only one currently having that is you and then your node is shut down so no one can access your app. So platforms like Fleek and Infura make sure to pin the files so that your application never goes down. Um, if you don't trust them though, you can, you can deploy your own IPFS node and then host the app yourself. This is what it means to decentralize the front end whereby there is no centralized point of failure. Um, as long as there is at least one node hosting your app, your app will continue to live forever and ever. Hope this helped you get started on how to deploy your own front-end code to IPFS. See you in the next one.